In the winter of 1947, the Polish tribunal tried the former staff of Auschwitz concentration camp, the largest German extermination camp located in Poland. Out of 41 defendants, 36 were men and five were women. Gruesome testimonies revealed that female guards were often even more sadistic than their male colleagues. One of such guards was Hildegard Leckert. Hildegard Leckert was born on January 20, 1920 in Berlin, and she was a nurse by profession. She was 22 and a mother of two children when she started her infamous career as a guard in Majdanek concentration camp in October 1942. In Majdanek, Leckert was known as the Bloody Brigitte because she used to beat the prisoners until blood appeared. She was a sadist who beat the prisoners for no reason, and she drank a lot. And the more she drank, the more sadistic her behavior became. Hildegard Leckert was accused of incredible atrocities. On one occasion, Leckert found a female prisoner with a cigarette. She beat the prisoner so much that the poor woman was covered in bruises and her whole head was swollen. The only reason Leckert did not kill her was because one of her SS colleagues came and made her stop. On another occasion, Leckert was seen putting a stick in a woman's vagina because she was looking for hidden valuables. This happened outside in the camp's garden, and the poor woman was screaming so horribly that other inmates ran away because they could not stand to watch. The poor Jewish woman was left lying, covered in blood. When one inmate who had tried to escape was being hung during the roll call, Leckert was seen laughing the whole time, and when prisoners turned their heads to look away, Leckert turned their faces in the direction of the execution site. She also once beat a prisoner so badly that the poor woman was left with a permanent scar where hair couldn't properly grow anymore. On one other occasion, Leckert was seen beating a camp inmate using her whip with an iron ball at the end and kicking him with her iron shod boots until the victim no longer even looked human. When she saw two young Greek women cleaning toilets, Leckert threw them inside and laughed as they drowned in feces as they swallowed it. Another time, in front of other female prisoners, Leckert sent her furious hungry dog on a pregnant Polish girl, whom the dog tore apart. Leckert did everything possible to make the life of the prisoners in the camp as miserable as possible. In March 1943, when it was freezing cold, she ordered the prisoners working in the garden to take off their sweaters, even though the camp authorities had allowed them to wear them. Among her numerous victims, some were even small children. At first, Leckert acted kindly to them, offering them candy with a sweet voice. Then she would throw them on a truck going into the gas chamber without remorse. Leckert also participated in selections of female prisoners for gas chambers. In August 1943, she left Majdanek and later worked in Plaszew and Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camps. After the war, Hildegard Leckert was captured and tried at the Auschwitz trial, where she finally faced justice for her inhuman crimes. But unlike her colleagues, such as Maria Mandel, she was not sentenced to death, but 15 years imprisonment. Her 15 years imprisonment lasted only 10 years, as she was released from prison in 1957 and allegedly became a cleaning lady in a brothel. Her dark past never stopped haunting her. Alongside Alice Orlovsky and Hermina Braunsteiner, Leckert faced the third Majdanek trial held between 1975 and 1981 for the crime she had committed during the war. She was sentenced to 12 years imprisonment, but she never had to serve this sentence, as her 10 years imprisonment in Poland and five years she spent in custody awaiting the trial were allowed for. She died in Berlin in 1995 of natural causes at the age of 75. There were no tears shed for Hildegard Leckert. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.